Hey guys, it's Sin Queen, and today I am doing another speed build. This time I'm doing what I'm calling a fairy tale cottage. Um, I was really inspired by all the stuff we got with the Strangerville pack. Um, I know this is coming a little bit late. We did get the, the pack a little while ago, um, but there was a lot of things in there that, for some reason, I found them to be like. I don't know, I've got like a fairy tale vibe from them. Um, like the new doors and windows reminded me of Disneyland. For anyone who's ever been, um, there's like the New Orleans part, or I guess downtown Disney. Um, both of those have a lot of this sort of whimsical look and I don't know why, but I'm just calling all that stuff the Disneyland stuff right now because it just reminds it, me so much of um, particularly like the New Orleans area of Disneyland. And so, um, I mean, I associate fairy tales with Disneyland and so I thought that I would try this little fairy tale cottage. I did of course go on to Google. That's usually where I find most of my inspiration. So I went on Google and I think I typed in um, fairy tale cottages and there was of course a ton of images and this is actually a cross between two different pictures that I found. Um, the layout isn't, it, that's just kind of my own idea, but as for like the aesthetic on the outside of the house and the landscape, like the whole, I guess, I guess the whole front yard, um, that is inspired by two different pictures and this is kind of what I came up with and I think it's super cute. Um, it's not totally um, practical for like a family to live in. For one single sim or maybe a couple, it's pretty good because it actually doesn't have any bedrooms. It has, um, it's like a, I guess you could call it like a studio or a, a, no, it's not a loft. It would be considered a studio basically because it, it just has like an open bedroom area. But the inside is really interesting. I like the layout. It is a very small house, which I was fine with. I wanted it to be a really tiny house. I didn't want it to be a big giant fairy tale house, just a little fairy tale cottage. And basically for this build, the outside was more um, what I was trying to focus on. Of course, I like the uh, the, um, the house itself, but the yard was really my main focus, and that's kind of what I wanted to spend the most time doing. Um, I've been noticing that I do need to practice my landscaping a little bit. I've been doing the same thing in a lot of my builds, and I think it, the best thing to do is just practice a little, and I wanted to turn that practicing sort of into a build as well. So um, the house is sort of like secondary <laughs> in this build to the yard itself. So. Um, I think it looks really cute though. It definitely looks like a fairy tale house. I did build this on the island in Windenburg, which I think um, it really suits Windenburg as well. Windenburg has like a, I forget exactly which country, or I guess oh, it's European, but I forget which country it's um, inspired by, but I think that it suits the entire aesthetic really well and uh, it just turned out to be really cute. I'm adding a few details to the house. Some of them didn't work out quite the way I wanted, but uh, I think a lot of it looked really adorable and I was super happy with it. Um, I did go back and forth a few times on a few different designs um, for the outside and the inside, but it does look really cute. Um, <clears throat> you can download this house on the gallery, but um, unfortunately the screenshot that you'll see on the gallery is not great. Like you can't really see the house that well. The yard is kind of blocking it. Um, so it may, it may not look like a great house, but um, I think it's super cute on the inside. Um, it's just the picture wasn't the best picture that could have been used. Um, my, origin I, my origin ID is SimQueen1992. So you can definitely download it there if you'd like. Um, I haven't actually like player tested this house, but everything should work pretty well. Like there's nothing about it that's too, um, that's placed in a weird way or un abnormal, I guess. I, everything should work pretty well. Um, I did build a gazebo on the outside that may not be totally functional uh, because it's a very small area, but it's got like a table and chairs in there. So that's the one thing that I think should be tested, but. Um, now I'm just sort of playing around with where I wanted the furniture to go. I spent a lot of time on the outside of the house and not as much time on the inside, but like I said, I was doing this build for the purpose of practicing um, my landscaping skills and I think it was really fun to do. It was kind of different. Um, it's like got this cutesy um, vibe to it. I pictured like, I don't know, Snow White living here? Like <laughs> I don't know why. It just. Uh, it's got that vibe to it. I don't think it, it turned out to be a very expensive house. There 
isn't a ton on the inside. Um, it is just one floor, but I'm looking at it now thinking I could have done two floors and made like a loft possibly, but um, it is what it is. I still think it's cute. Um, I'm liking all the flowers. I've been watching a lot of tutorials and other um, builders that inspire me. For those of you wondering, the ones that inspire me the most are Simlessy. She is definitely my favorite builder. Um, I watch every single one of her builds and I just think they're so good. They're so detailed and they're actually, they're just perfect. Like that's how I would describe her builds. They're just perfect. And I always, always build with her in mind. Like she is my inspiration. Every single time I open my game to build, I'm always thinking like, what would Simplicity do? Because she is very inspiring as a builder and super creative. And um, I've been learning a lot from her. And one of the things I've learned is that um, when you're landscaping, try not to use a whole bunch of different colors, but stick to maybe two or three um, kind of colors for a theme. Don't just use one of everything and every color because it's gonna look messy. So in this one, I used like three bushes all each in a different color and I think it worked out really well. Like I did use the sunflowers as well, but I do understand what she means when she says that if you use just everything available to you and you go crazy with color, it's just gonna look messy. It's not gonna look like it's it was planned out or that it all matches and she was definitely right. So I do, um, that is one of the tips that I've learned that I would recommend because I think that it's super helpful when you're trying to make your builds um, look realistic as well. And so here I'm doing the gazebo, which I don't normally do. I have done them before, but I kind of forgot about <laughs> gazebos to be honest. Um, I mean, it's something we can sort of custom build. It's not really, um, you don't see them a lot, I guess. But for this build, I thought it really suited the house. And so I did do that. Um, as you can see, that table and chairs is kind of squished in there. So like I said, it may or may not be functional. I'm not totally sure, but it still looks good with the house, I think. Um, I think it looks really adorable. Um, just adding some more of these flowers and bushes. I spent so much time outside on this house and I knew I wanted to do the landscaping before I did the inside because sometimes I will furnish an entire house and put so much energy and time into it and then by the time it's time to work on the in outside I have no energy to do it so I did that all in reverse and for some reason this weird thing has been happening where um, the terrain paint will just disappear and I don't know why, it's very annoying. Um, it happened in my other build I did, but that time it happened after I uploaded it to the gallery. This time, I don't even know what I did. I just, I, I stepped back to look at my work and all the terrain paint was gone. So I here I am just like basically refilling all that in, which was, like I said, very frustrating, but um, I got it done. And I, I, I have seen people uh, on Twitter saying that that's happening to them as well. Um, the Sim Supply posted and said like, what's one of the bugs or glitches you'd like them to fix with The Sims? And um, I think it was Lil Simsy posted and said that this issue has been happening to her as well where the terrain paint disappears. Uh, that's really frustrating, especially if you put a ton of work into it. Uh, I mean, mine was pretty easy to redo, but if someone did a huge build where there's lots of detail and lots of terrain paint and it was just gonna be gone and just disappear on them, that would be really frustrating. So um, that was annoying. I do hope they fix that. On the inside, I was trying a few different things that I haven't normally done, like that um, that half wall, but like in the tallest version, more like a three quarter wall, basically. Uh, I did try that. I was playing around with the floor plan quite a bit. Um, when I started this, I didn't plan, I did plan on having an actual bedroom and not just a bed area and it just turned into basically this open concept. It just looked a lot better and I don't know, I still think it fit like the fairy tale vibe that I was going for. So that's kind of what I'm doing now is playing around with that. Um, I love that back window, that huge window, it's kind of got that stained glass effect at the back of the house. I think it's so pretty and I did not want to cover that up with a wall. I wanted all that to be fairly open so that you can um, see that window even if you're kind of at the front of the house. Um, it just it needed to be showcased I thought and uh, this build got me thinking I really wish we had some more stained glass windows. I would really appreciate that because um, that to me is really all we have but to have an actual 
like full stained glass window with like a unique pattern and some colors would be really pretty I think we definitely need that and it wasn't really something I would have ever thought about if I hadn't done this build I don't think um, I was actually I'm on this kick right now where I am download or not downloading building a lot of houses that I find on like realtor websites because my husband and I are looking to buy a house and I just get a lot of inspiration from looking at real houses and I do like making realistic builds and in one of the houses I saw there was a stained glass window in the bathroom and it was really pretty and I wanted to rebuild that so bad but then I looked at the windows we have and there was really nothing available that would have um, looked like that picture so that was really disappointing. I do wish we had some more um, window options. I mean we do have a lot but I mean stained glass window. We, we definitely need that. Um, and so I'm in this I guess you can't even really call it the bedroom. It's, I'm still calling it that. It's not a complete room, but it's like an area. Um, it's very like lavish and I think it's super pretty. I use a lot of dark woods. Um, and then the kitchen, I did use those like green, blue. I don't even know what color that is, honestly. I did use those countertops, but I do think that I replaced them with some um, darker wood because I just wasn't really feeling that color. Um, and I did use like the old fashioned looking fridge and stove as well. I thought it fit the aesthetic of the house really well. And the kitchen also does have um, like that rock at the back, which I think is realistic as well. And it could just kind of makes the whole cottage look um, a lot older which is what I wanted like this is a super old build um, and then this window here I wasn't really sure what to do there uh, I wanted to put in like a little corner couch I guess one of those bay window couches but I didn't like the idea of it covering the windows that did bother me a little bit but I, I did it anyway um, and I think I just raised up the window so it didn't look as bad um, I really don't like when things cover windows I just find it really unrealistic especially countertops I just can't stand that so um, yeah, I just raised those windows up and I just kind of played around with these chairs. I wanted to use the, this color of the chair, like the pink with the yellow blanket over the back. I thought that looked really good in this build. And those bookshelves that we got with Strangerville, I like those a lot as well. Um, this at the time, I didn't realize that, that um, those photos I put on the wall are actually custom content. So I did take them out before I put them on the gallery, but I think they are in the screenshots. Um, I just I don't want CC in my builds because obviously it's <laughs> it makes it hard for people to download it. So I did replace that with something else and just a few more clutter items for this like little living area. Um, every room in this house is quite small. I mean the whole house is pretty small, but I think it looks really cute. I'm really happy with it. Um, the bathroom is really basic. I just used some kind of old fashioned designs and um, yeah, it's it's kind of cute. Use the rock in there as well to make it look. Uh, kind of old-fashioned which I think it definitely does and I think the last thing I did oh I put in that like picnic table at the t at the back there I thought that looked really good and then in the corner I put kind of an office area there's like a desk and a bookshelf and just some little cluttery items there um, but yeah that's pretty much it for that back area I think I just put in a rug as well um, not a ton of window coverings because I just think I like the way they look um, just playing without coverings um, I didn't think it really suited the vibe of the house that well and now I'm just playing around those counters again and I think finally I just put in uh, a bookshelf there I can't quite remember oh um yeah one of those cabinets I, I don't use those enough I always forget about them um, so I, yeah put in that cabinet with a few little clutter items on it as well and I wanted a lot of light as well so I did put some like pretty big lights in this build like those hanging chandeliers just quite a few of them and there are some candles and lamps around as well and uh, yeah I think the screenshots look really good but that is pretty much it for this build um yeah that, that's <laughs> that's it we're heading into the screenshots now um please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below let me know what you think and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed thanks for watching